Now, two debates between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, they've been confirmed. But Donald Trump yesterday demanded that Joe Biden be drug tested ahead of those debates. Both candidates, they've agreed to participate because the former president is alleging that Biden was high as a kite when he delivered the State of the Union address in March. Only a few days ago, we know that Biden's administration reclassified the use of marijuana. So uh, could Trump be onto something? No, I don't think so. I mean, Biden might have had some uh, some med medication to settle him down or to clear his mind for a second. But you know, to for Donald Trump, who didn't want to debate anybody up until a couple of weeks ago, to ask for a urine test for the president of the United States, it, it seems to me a bit a bit stretch. But look, uh, Hortensia, there's a reason why. Donald Trump is going 180 degrees on this. He's asking for debates before the, uh, the nominating conventions in July and August for a damn good reasons, because he's probably going to be convicted of uh, uh, cooking the books in New York, and the, the, the judge can't send him to jail while he's on a presidential debate tour, because that's really interfering in American politics. So Trump is taking advantage, a tactical advantage, in case he gets convicted, and he probably will get convicted. And uh, there won't be much of a debate. I mean, you know, they're just going to be yelling at each other, as a matter of fact. We got, we got two people Americans don't even want to vote for. But I think the really interesting thing this week, Cortanzia, were, was the, uh, the lack of decorum in the House of Representatives when everybody started going after each other, suggesting that uh, civility has dropped in the United States. And there is a damn good reason why 80 percent of Americans, according to Pew Research, for the past 20 years, have given up on Congress to do the right thing. Congress has behaved very, very badly, and Americans don't expect anything from them, which, of course, is why Donald Trump had an opening in 2016, because nothing was happening in Washington that the American public wanted to happen.